The Sacred Heart of Jesus expresses the meaning of Christian existence. This is the third year that we have transferred the Feast of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, our patronal feast, to Sunday. The first year we asked the question, is it possible to revitalize devotion to the Sacred Heart? A hundred years ago, the Sacred Heart was the Catholic devotion. We listen to the Gospel of John tell the story of the piercing of the heart of Jesus as he hung upon the cross. We reflected on how God's heart bears the wounds of love and how in Jesus, God's heart engages our heart. Last year, we reflected on the question, does God love me? How no pious answer will do. The answer to the question, do you love me, must be experienced. It is answered in the luminous and dark hours of life when we try to pray. It is then that we find that God's heart, in spite of all the counter indicators of life, has been given to us in the heart of Jesus. Today we continue our reflection on the sacred heart of Jesus, examining how it expresses the meaning of Christian existence. In our first reading from Deuteronomy, we heard how God chose a people, Israel. But the reading ends in a disturbing fashion. It is uncertain whether God will love or reject the people. This uncertainty plagues the Old Testament. In the first letter of St. John and in the Gospel, we hear something quite different. We hear of the irrevocable gift of God's love in Jesus. Jesus is the word which flows from the Father's heart for all eternity. This word, Jesus, finds and calls us no matter how difficult and dark the burdens of life become. Further, when Jesus finds us, he will never relinquish us. He will never let us go. His love will endure all things and keep our hearts for all eternity. This is why we gather to worship. The divine heart of Jesus has grasped us long before we ever began to love God. When we look into our own heart, when we find the still quiet at the center of our being, when we glimpse the infinite emptiness that lies at our innermost center, an emptiness that cries out to be filled with the intimate fullness of God, we find that we are already being held. That the center of our heart is God's heart, Jesus. A heart that is filled with the mystery of God's love. We discover that this wounded heart of Jesus is a heart of compassion for us as an individual. That the God of infinite love is also the God who loves us personally. We can ask the pierced heart of Jesus the question that is decisive for all eternity a question that fills our hearts and our lives. Do you love me in such a way that this love generates my everlasting life? The heart of Jesus reveals the most improbable, most impossible, but also the most 
evident reality, God, the incomprehensible, truly loves us. And in the heart of Jesus, this love has become irrevocable, eternal. From the heart of Jesus, we hear God's yes, loving us into everlasting life. From this love flows our love for others. From the heart of Jesus flows our compassion for the weary. From the heart of Jesus flows our assistance for all who are burdened. From the heart of Jesus flows our solidarity with the oppressed. The sacred heart of Jesus expresses the meaning of Christian Existence.